Hello, thank you so much for all the love you all have shared on the previous tutorial video. Today I'm sharing something which is my favorite. This is my go-to technique. Right, so this technique is called exposure bracketing. Go manual and take three or four or five or six different shots with different exposure settings. For example, uh, this shot I have of a room, uh, I did not have flash on this site at this particular day for some reason so what i did for the entire shoot was that i took multiple shots of the same view with different exposures so that i would you know just make an hdr later on lightroom so i'll be teaching you that today that how it's done quickly this is going to be very short all right so this is the shot where you can see that it's a pretty balanced exposure where we can see what is outside and a little bit of light is falling inside the room from the window and the next shot I took was with a darker exposure uh, I played with the aperture I made the outside view a little more visible by pulling off the exposure by increasing the number uh, value of the exposure and uh, as you can see that inside we don't see much of the light obviously because i'm cutting the light by increasing the exposure and so one shot we have got a neutral in which we have a subtle amount of light we can see that it's a neutral a little bit of light is uh, falling on the ceiling on the roof coming from the window this is the main light source we have and then the next shot i did was dark in which we got a very clear understanding that what is outside it is a daytime the sun is scorching bright as you saw in the previous image and now we need to make another frame in which we get more light inside the room so i not only just uh, turn my exposure down i also turn down my shutter speed a bit and then there's another one as a neutral shot so I'm probably going to use any three of those. So let's just quickly take these photos to the Lightroom. All right, I'm here in the Lightroom and as I can see that, oops, my battery ran low. I need to plug in the charger before we continue. we are back again so after we came to Lightroom I figured that that the focal length of all these photographs are not same for some reason I might have you know shook the camera stand and the lens got moved so I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to delete this one too and I'm only going to keep the first and the last one so this is the one in which we have neutral light outside and the other one in which everything is blown out outside and we have massive amount of light inside with a great quality and uh, let's see now what are we going to do so the first shot I am going to do with which is so the first thing I'm going to do with the first image that I've selected is I'm going to turn down the highlight so that I get more detail outside the window. I get to see that what is happening here. That what is happening here. And I'm pulling up saturation a little bit so we get to see more colors outside. A more green maybe. Yeah. Okay. A little bit let's take a little back we don't want to make it look a little more we don't want to make it look artificial at all no 
Oh, okay, we are good here. All right, so this is the before and after of this image. <coughs> we have turned down the highlights a little more. We won't do anything with this one. We'll go with this one as is. Keep both of the pictures selected. Right click, photo merge, HDR, and let's see the magic. Make sure it is auto align, auto setting is on. You can try auto settings off as well, just to see what it shows. All right, so now we have a complete window. Now we have a clear view outside. The windows are not blown up. We can see what's outside and inside. We have a very balanced light as well. I'm really happy with the result that we have received here. Let's try different modes. It gives us deghosting option that there's a slight possibility of some error. So Lightroom does give this option to us. Show the ghost overlay if there's any, there's none. So we just go with the low mode and merge. Once it's done, we will edit and I'll be showing you before and after. All right, so here comes the third image. All right, so this was your first image. This was before and after. The first image was completely dark and we were able to see outside but the view was not clear and to make it clear i turned down the highlights so we were able to see that okay we are understanding it now that there are trees outside and some blue color in the background so this all happened by increasing the saturation here and decreasing the highlights the second image we didn't touch at all which was this one in this image the windows were blown out good amount of light inside the room and we did a photo merge this is the result now and i'm going to turn down highlights a little more and let's go down here remove chromatic aberration enable profile correction so whenever you're using a wide angle lens shooting real estate or interior decoration shots the first thing you gotta do is to enable profile correction because when you do that you see there's a slight curvy your image is unnoticeably spherical at the edges but when you hit this enable profile correction you see the difference but now we need to work on these sides which are pretty dark which are still dark at the moment one last thing which needs to be done here is that i'm going to select this spread tool and i'm going to increase the exposure on these sides just like this that's it that's it that's it but from my end this is done but if you, if you want like if you want you can also you know add a little bit of brightness from the bottom going towards the top control it don't overdo it and then you can also control the windows with this brush tool all you have to do is just adjust the size paint it over the windows once it's done i'll tell you what to do all right so we will just simply turn the highlights down can you see the difference and we want clarity we want the haze to happen a little bit we want saturation to happen we want the saturation outside we want to see the colors outside the window now we will unpaint the pillars between the windows so we don't see that I'm um, I'm holding option key and I'm painting again here so it is canceling my brush that has been applied just now here all right this is done I'm not doing it too carefully because this is just for the sake of education and I know I don't want this to be lengthy video
zoom out. All right, there's one more thing that you can do very quickly here, which is you can fix these. You can simply fix these reflections here with this tool. This tool is amazing. This is a clone tool right here in Lightroom. My Mac is acting up because one, it's not charged. Another one is that you're running out of space it's full all right so that's it Ta -da! these were the two images I'm gonna show you before and after this was the first one this was the second one we did not do anything on the second image which was blown out deliberately and this is the outcome You can tell me your uh, views about this quick technique of exposure bracketing and remember that you can also do multiple shots in exposure bracketing. You can go up to six shots depending upon your situation. But if you're running short of time, two shots would also do the job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much.